Hey people, and today we're going to take this little apple core and turn it into a four foot giant one. So enough with the talk, let's get to work. Right, so we're going to start out by doing a little sketch. And the reason I'm doing this, because this little baby ain't going to last long. Okay, so we've got our apple. There we go, like that. Just a side view very, very quickly. And then that's basically what we're looking at, like so. And that will be about one meter, 20 centimeters, which is about four foot. And there you have it. Okay, so I've refined that drawing a little bit so it's you can see it better on camera. Just put some colors in and uh, that way we can see it more clearer. Now, my choice of materials will be sponge. Ooh, squishy. It's just normal upholstery sponge, the things you're sitting on at this minute. And I'm just gonna glue uh, big chunks of this together with some multi-purpose flooring spray adhesive. Very simple, you just spray it on one side, let it go a bit tacky, spray it on the other side, let that go tacky, and then glue them together forever. go so we don't get any overspray and if you're wondering where those tapes were stored while I was using both hands they were stuck on my glasses not like this like this okay so let's get some glue on so you see what you're doing is just going around the edges nicely like that just let it cobweb like that cobweb is good because I like the look like that make sure you cover all the whole area and do the same on the other side and then let them go tacky and then you can stick them together as I said forever Okay, we've got it on both sides. This side, nice and tacky. This side also. And all you do is just line it up the best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And apply some weight to it. Oh, this feels nice. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, now all I've done is I've just placed them on top of each other. That's uh, that's the two pieces I glued together and I just placed them on top just to take a look. Yeah, that's the one. Well, it's more like a capital I, but you know what I mean. Okay, back to our reference. Now, what we're doing here is we've got that one's that, that's them two, and that's that. Now, what we should do is, because we're missing some here, I don't know if you can see just there, it's not wide enough to reach the end. So what we'll do is we'll just cut off this here, like so, and then we can use those bits for there. So let's draw that very 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 quickly let's take a look just quickly how it's gonna go not enough okay so we're going a bit more like that okay those bits get cut off and now we'll just take a look at this this comes around like that that's the apple there yeah it's about right it comes around like that comes down like that like that oh yeah that's looking like something now. Let's measure it quickly. What are we talking about here? I bet you it's not far off. This one's seven, six plus 20. I bet you that's not far off. Okay, so we're off by, uh, what did it do? About four inches. That'll do just fine because then we've got the little stem there coming up and that will be, let's take a look if that's four foot and that's one third of, uh, two thirds of that, then, okay, da, da, two thirds, and we take that and that. So we're talking about uh, 40 centimeters, roughly. So that's 120, but it's not 120. It's not 120. It's one. What did I say? Uh, it was Fozza. So it's one there. Okay, so th that will be about so big. About eight inches, about 20 centimeters coming up. So we'll be like this. Let's just do that. Just to take a look. Stand that there. Don't move. Don't move. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's cut this out. I've just taken the two off. Just be careful because that will be sharp now. That goes straight through me, that sound. You know what else goes through me? Bullets. Okay. So let's cut that down, just roughly. Keep the knife nice and sharp because otherwise it'll rip the foam. So what we're doing, we're just getting in there. So I got that there. Remember guys, mind your fingers. I'm going fast with this, but I would suggest you just take your time. I feel like I'm making an apple pie. I'm gonna eyeball this, but you, you should draw this out as well. But we remember it was that, like that. Keeping my hand always above the knife. Don't hold it here or here above it and just separate that sponge there to keep pressure on it, see, like that. Right, that should come off now. No, I won't. My angles here are terrible, I, I'm very aware. But it's the only way, it's not the only way. You can also do it like this. That's it. Uh, somebody just tunes into this bit. It'll look very, very strange, but you'll see what I mean. Yes, we're through. 
Perfect. Now these bits will be plenty enough for that there, like that. And then we'll just carve this back to blend into that from the side, if you know what I mean. Like that, in. Okay, let's do that. Oops, sorry. Okay, so. Oh, that's not worked out. And make sure you keep all these little bits. Don't throw them away because what you can do is you can chop them up and make some apple sponge cake. Okay, so I'm just refining that. Just getting that to go all the way to almost nothing. See there, like that. So from the side view, you can see it's coming, gonna come in from both sides. And we'll go into this as well, so it's all nice and just slims down, like a, an hourglass, that sort of look. Now, my pal who edits all these videos, he said to me, why, why would you make a giant big apple? And I said, well, one of the most iconic logos on the planet is an apple. But just imagine, just imagine you've got Steve, and Steve's got the apple, and he's sat there, and he's looking out into this beautiful field, and all of a sudden, he, he fancies an apple. He takes one bite, and he looks up, and he goes, whoa, that's it, I've got it. But what if he didn't automatically, immediately come up with it? And he kept staring, and kept eating. He threw it in the way, and he's still not come up with it. He thinks, I'll take another, <laughs> I'll take another bite. So he keeps going, And he looks up and he says, yeah, I got it, that's it, it's beautiful. Gonna have to clean up. So then, my pal says to me, he says, okay, fine, it's iconic, I get it. You sort of made a point, but why make a giant apple? And I said, duh, it's computers, megabyte. Next question, he asked me to leave. Okay, so we've got all them bits stuck on, like that. Now we've got the similar shape all the way around. Now I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, it's too big, it's too wide. I know it is, but you see, you can always cut off. But to put this stuff on, you've gotta wait for it to dry so the blade doesn't get all gummed up. So you're best off putting too much first and then just cut away. So more is better. Unlike your diet, when you wanna lose weight, it's hard. And to put it on, it's easy. When I go on holiday, I'm not working and I eat loads of food, not getting enough exercise. Trust me, when I pile it on, because I'm so short, it's much faster to jump over me than it is to walk round. The apple is dying. French translation. Le pain se meurt. In Spanish, la manzana está muriendo. Okay, so I've just refined that shape a bit. Now all we have to do, just glue them onto there. Let's do that. Right, so I've glued the top and bottom on. Now all I'm gonna do is refine those shapes, the top and the bottom. Basically that apple there, if you turn that onto itself, it would be round, so just take them off. You know, every time I sharpen a knife, I think of my pal Arthur, who taught me how to do this. He was a cook in the Navy, and basically he used to say, it's like throwing a Frisbee. In fact, if you just watch the motion, watch. Throwing a Frisbee, throwing a Frisbee. That's exactly what you're doing. What a lovely man. And he used to say, I was a kook in the Navy. He spoke like that. And every time I used to ask him, what you having for your tea? He'd say either chicken or beef, pork. But he'd always say, I'm having mashed taters. Mashed taters. Chicken and mashed taters. Okay, so we've got them done. Let's flip it. Same here. Okay, now let's refine that. Again, I'm always very aware of where my hand is, so always keep it in front. It's very important. Just be always aware of where the sharp bit is. Just keep going. About, about to get to the end, we've actually got the actual shape of what we're looking for. Ah, yes, cool. Okay, so I've just refined it a bit, top and bottom. Now let's find the center, roughly, and let's get that just drawn on, roughly. Around like that, that's good. And then we'll just cut round there. Again, be very aware. I know that blade's going downwards in there, so I'm fine. But just, just be aware of where the sharpie bit is. The dangerous end. Keep it away from you. So we're coming to the end there, and we're just gonna blend that away and just rip that out. Okay, so we've got that there. Kill that half edge there. Perfect. Nice. Okay, so just imagine. Got that. Yes. Okay. And now, I'm going in 
with these blades with a box cutter Stanley knife it's very sharp so I change the blades just like that and when I'm done with the blades make sure you put them in one of these little containers a little plastic container old blades and you just put them in there like a like a piggy bank a very good friend of mine he's he's from Borland he calls piggy bank a guinea pig a lovely man so what you're doing here you just going in ever so slightly just float it just get rid of those bits there like that so I'm gonna go all the way around this which will take four or six hours four or six hours for me will be a few moments for you you're welcome okay so we've got that all carved out perfectly now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this little stemmy thing now do you remember this piece that I cut off of here remember I drawed it round with the frisbee and then cut it off all jaggedy and what we're gonna do we're gonna make a little like a sort of a rose now you keep all those edges all rough like that and just roll it together making a rose like that see tomatoes have them as well they have great ones they've got like they flare out a bit they look like little spiders I remember when I first got together with my missus I took a few of them off and put them under her pillow and she woke up in the middle of the night screaming and she said you do that again I'm leaving you that reminds me let's get some tomatoes okay so I've got some tomatoes here see what I mean they look like little spiders like that little top bits now what I've done here to get this really really smooth is used a orbital sander and just gone over it like that okay so all I've done is I've cut out a little cavity here uh, contact adhesive put some contact adhesive on this and now we'll just place it in there like so <sighs> and just let it grab hold of it like that look at that look at that oh yes perfect okay now we're just gonna go in with this knife that's not a knife that's a knife the reason I'm using this is because I don't want to make big big cuts what I want to do now is I don't want to cut it what I want to do is I want to just go in there start it off and then just rip it like that see what I mean because it looks like it's being bit see the difference between that and that okay so I've ripped all of that out now we're just going in with these little details here I've just put some contact adhesive on there and on there I'm just gonna put them in like that like that and like that just glue them in yeah like that upside down like that. that's really good the contact adhesive has turned the sponge a bit yellow but it looks kind of cool it gives me a, an indication of what I need to do with the paint to make that look cavity look deep and a little bit you know rotting away decomposing okay major cleanup and let's paint him with latex right so the shape is done it's all perfect I've just made that little stem and stuck it in there just like that there you go so now we're just gonna apply some latex now this is just simple latex and all I do is I just basically put it on just pile it on no messing about and cover every little bit of sponge with latex I use a big brush like this and I'll go around it in no time and we're back so I put two generous coats of latex on it I let it dry and what's happened is when it's dried it's turned this great sort of core color yellows browns and it's turned out absolutely perfect we won't even have to paint it because it's just dried the right color all we'll have to do is just paint these two little pips here top and the bottom red and of course the stem right here so let's mix up some latex paint now the reason you have to mix latex into the paint is because this paint right here acrylic it will not stick to latex so what we're going to do is we're going to create a little mechanical bond so the latex itself will stick to it we're basically essentially just dyeing the latex red so all I'm doing is I'm mixing it now it won't turn into the color it's going to end up because as you saw with the core it dries a darker shade when we put it on it was like white and then it dries like a yellow so if this is like a washed out sort of red it will dry same color what's on the tin now, a great way to test this is just put a bit on your hand there and just let it dry and you can sort of see there put it on your hand like that and you let it dry give us a sec I've dried that a little bit with a heater and if we put some next to it there you have it that's the color it's gonna be okay so let's paint that on right so I'm just painting it on it's really simple just put it on and just get right in there and just pull it out like that all the way around try not to drip any red onto the core there because then you'll have to paint that and we don't want to do that just put this thin layer on this will dry very fast because now the latex itself underneath is dry so it's gonna dry from outwards in it doesn't have to get sucked into the sponge okay I'll go around that let's see how we get on okay we're nearly there all the way around back to where we started there we go we'll just let that dry flip it and do the bottom side oh that's starting to look like something right so that's just about dry enough to be able to put another layer on as you can see it's turned nice and red I flipped it and done the underside so now all we're doing is the same thing just got some latex in there and we'll just put a little bit of black in 
like so and mix that together also a good tip when you want to keep this latex fresh put a rubber glove over it and one of the fingers acts like a little socket for the brush to go in just mix that well all together like that and all we're doing now we're just gonna very carefully paint the stem okay that stem's done now all we do is we just get another cup just put that original red in and just a touch of the black just to turn it a little bit of a darker shade it's a little bit too dark let's add some more red that's better just so it's a little bit darker red and then all we're doing we're going into this bits here just go around there like that and then get rid of all the latex off your brush and just swipe that paint out just pull it out like that and that will blend to nothing and then the same just on the edges here as if to say where it's been bitten it's starting to decompose first so again you just get it on there get rid of what's on your brush just pull it up just feather it out just like that okay I'll go all the way around we'll let it dry see what it looks like okay so that's not completely dry so while it's drying go in with this black latex paint painting those little pips I would say that's about done well the apple of my iPhone is done and it's looking cool I like it now what I normally do with my bills is I weigh them in but unfortunately this is way too big to put on the scale so what I thought I'd do is I'd measure it and to compare the measurements I thought I'd use a cardboard cutout of Johnny Vegas. Now I know what you're thinking, why Johnny Vegas? And what I say is, why not? Johnny Vegas? Is that you monkey? Oh, that reminds me. I need a brew. Ooh, that's good coffee. Right, so we've got Johnny Vegas is coming in at one meter 70 170 and our apple is uh just about to the end of the stem there 132 so 132 uh, versus 170 okay so 170 divided by 132 equals 1.2 so it's 1.2 so there you have it 1.2 now guys thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe obviously if you like it and just one more thing if you are handling uh, sharp objects like I was be very very careful I've been doing it for over 30 years and I still have to really really concentrate so thanks again and I'll see you next time